Hey guys, today we're working on a 2013 Nissan 370Z and we're replacing the fuel pump. So I purchased the whole assembly from Z1 and uh, I have to say, if you guys are in the market for one of these, AutoZone had this whole piece for 600 bucks. Z1 OEM, made in Japan, it says it on the box, $400, $400 bucks, and only two day shipping. It, it's already here. So if you're in the market for one of these for your Z, check out Z1, see what they could do for you because I'd rather have a OEM fuel pump, the original fuel pump, than some Chinese junk that's gonna fall apart on you. And since we're doing the fuel pump, I went ahead and ordered the ring to seal the top of the tank. This is important. You could reuse the old one. I've done it before many times, but I mean, it's only a couple of bucks and you get a brand new one. So might as well if you're in there. And like I said, this is, uh, it's made in Japan. It says it right there. And this is the original OEM fuel pump. On the 370Z, there's two places that you access the fuel tank. You could access it through the driver's side and you could access it through the passenger side but in the passenger side is where the fuel pump actually lives in order to get to it you got to lift up your seat you got to scoot it forward you're gonna go to this back panel back here and you're gonna lift this up and the fuel pump lives right under here this is the access panel we're gonna remove these four bolts and we're gonna go right on top of that fuel pump So here's the fuel pump right here, okay? So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna unplug this pigtail, push down, pull back. There, we have that out of the way. And then you're gonna release this. This is for the fuel line. Now, you're gonna have to be careful with this because majority of the time it's pressurized. This vehicle has not been turned on for probably, I would say 12 hours, but I'm still gonna take precaution I'm gonna put a rag in here. This will probably still be pressurized. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just pinch these two sides. And I'm gonna put this rag here so we don't get fuel all over the place. And yes, it has happened to me. All right. Not much pressure, that's good. I'm just gonna soak up any remaining fuel that's in here and move it out of the way. So now, I'm gonna loosen up these eight millimeter bolts and I'm using this swivel to get to the one that's here in this corner. And I'm gonna just break them all loose. Now that I have all the bolts loose, it is spring-loaded, this is normal, okay? What you're gonna do is move the hose out of the way and remove the top plate, this top bracket that holds the fuel pump down. So what you're gonna do for this part right here, this hose has to disattach from the assembly. So I went in with these pliers, I pinched them right here, and then I was able to free it up. Now, it's not gonna be easy. And as you can see, I'm still fighting it. But there we go, broke it loose, okay? All right, something I always like to do is I like to compare the parts to make sure I'm installing the correct one. So I'm gonna look at the wires, count how many wires, look at, look at the wires, how they're oriented, 
look at the level the sending unit the pump everything I like to inspect the whole thing and make sure it matches before I install anything so it looks like they're the same and I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the installation so when you're removing this hose right here the hose stays in the tank make sure to leave that in the tank okay you're gonna want to remove this clip off and install it on this side okay and as well with the top clip right here this plastic clip always be careful with these they do break if you handle them too aggressively and just like that she's ready to be installed it's there's really nothing to this installation it's really simple you could do this at home it'll probably run you about 45 minutes or so it's taking me longer because I'm recording it for you guys so you understand what to do so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old o-ring that seals the tank from the pump in the outside and now I'm gonna grab the new one okay and um, you don't have to do this this is this is my preference this is how I always install o-rings of any sort I'm, I'm using a little bit of silicone compound okay and I'm lubing up the ring so just in case when I'm pressing down on the ring I make sure not to pinch it and um, keeps everything nice and lubed and I never have any leaks because of it so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of techs that do this maybe some don't but I like to use it and it works awesome for me So just like that, I have the new one in place. I'm gonna grab the fuel pump. And there is a way, there is, it is precision in the way it's supposed to go. The fuel hose comes in in this direction, so pay attention to that. This is also the tricky part. You have to slide the pump in, in an angle like this because of this little level this little float okay you got to slide it in an angle and then level it up so it could fit there we go and like I said this is the tricky part It is a tight fit, so take your time. Right. So we got it in place. I'm going to make sure the O-ring is sitting in the right location. I'm gonna take a peek on both sides, all the way around. Seems to be fine. Okay. Now we're gonna install this back on this metal plate, okay? And I'm going to start at least one or two by hand before I let go. Because remember, it's spring loaded, so it's going to want to pop up on you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect the fuel line. You got to, you want to hear the click. There, you know it's secure. Pull back on it. It's not going anywhere. We're good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of the bolts. Okay, and now that I have all the bolts on, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them by hand. You never wanna overdo this part. And I'm doing a star pattern, cross pattern. I'm going on one side, and then I'm going on the other. And I'm just gonna work my way all the way around. So now we could go ahead and plug the pigtail back in for the fuel pump. 
Okay, boom, just like that. I'm gonna set this plate back in there. We install the plate back on. And just like that, we got a fuel pump installed. So we're gonna test it out, and if we did everything right, it'll start. If, it, if we didn't do everything right, it'll just blow up. <laughs> so I'm gonna prime the pump. I heard it prime, I'm gonna start it. There we go. This is a 2013 Nissan 370Z and we just did a fuel pump. So on the 370Z, there's two, stop it. So on the 370Z, there's two compartments that you could get to the fuel tank. There's one 